Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Taming and Expert Training. I'm your host, Yandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use another conditional uh, trigger inside the software. So let's go to the software. So in the previous video we have seen how we can use this conditional value change. And now what we're going to do is to use this condition. So basically, imagine that you have a variable that is changing okay and when it reach a specific value just want to trigger something well this is the block that you can use here so for example what i'm going to do is to use this uh variable that we have used before i bar that change along with the change of the field and the rectangle you can see the previous video to see how it works but i have this variable that is constantly increasing so here i just need to use a constant if you go here we can see this lamp and here we give me the idea of the thing that i need to use the object so value option so if we go to values constant we can drag and drop over here and then make the condition so if this value is uh, number four so i want to increase a value every time I go into the number four and seven. So here I need to specify the condition. If it's, um, yeah. If it's the values between these two, okay. Uh, I think it's okay. So we can see it. So every time this value is between these two, it will add so we probably need to create a new variable i counter two i'm going to increment the counter uh, the counter value so drag and drop here counter two dot value increment by 10 so we can see the difference so this is the i bar value this is the counter 2 variable counter 2 and every time i click this one this one will reset if you know never saw the previous video so if we compile this hopefully it will work so when this value reaches the four and six between the four and seven it will add 10 so i can stop it once again go to zero and then it will add another 10 here we just do it just one time so during that frame it will execute and do something in my case i'm just adding a value but you can trigger any other action okay this is just an example how to use it as uh, you can see, it's very easy. Um, let's just again, it will trigger an app. Because in the previous video, I didn't mention, I just mentioned it, but I never uh, haven't shown you how to work with it. Uh, but here is basically the condition you need to make in order to make something to work when that condition is true. Okay. So, um, so far we covered these three and the next one we should be able to address all the triggers so uh this is how we can add a different um trigger based on a condition of a specific value when it reach certain amount of limits okay so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one